Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cotabo Space Program, where today we are taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of Contract Manager, which is being made by forum user Kalakian. Oh, I probably haven't pronounced that right, but oh well, I'm just gonna move forward now. And well, the Contract Manager mod, or really plug-in rather, and a very small one at that, adds a very simple thing to the game, but something that in my opinion is a necessity, really. If you've been playing a lot of the new career mode with contracts since it has released, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about here. Now right now with contracts, all you have available to you is this window right here. That no matter when or where you start up the game, it always defaults to this tiny little size where you can barely see two contracts. Now you can expand this thing out to there, that is as far as I can bring it down, and it defaults with every single one of your contracts open. Which, you know, especially when it opens up so tiny, like this, is kind of a pain to scroll through things, and even when you bring it out to full size, it's it, once you get a lot of contracts on your hands, they're, uh, they can be a really, really big pain to go through. Now you can, of course, close them, and that does solve some of the problem, but again, it doesn't really remember that, and so every time you open it up, it's all there back again. And it's annoying, and you are at the whim of whatever contracts you picked in what order. Actually, I don't even think that. i do not not entirely sure how it sorts it, because I think I selected these first and then these later, so maybe your oldest contracts go to the bottom, I think. Maybe, don't quote me on that. <laughs> and, but the order, the order is something you can't change either. You can't click and drag these around, you can only click and drag to scroll, which is kind of weird and finicky. And the Contract Manager plugin hopes to make this a much better system and more convenient and customizable to the user. Now for the moment, in this early version of the mod, it is started up by this button right here. Now if you just scroll over it, like with the contracts, it will just pop up and you're good to go. You can just sort of pop it in to look real quick and then make it disappear. Click and it will stay in place. But where it differs is that this baby can move. I can put it over here if I want. Or put it in the center of my screen and not only can I move it, I can resize it. If you want the contract manager to take up the vast majority of your screen space, have at it. I, who cares? Just do what you want. That's the whole point. That is that is what custom uh, customization is for. It is a beautiful, wonderful thing. So you don't have to deal with squished up things like you have over here, where things are very short sentences are taking up multiple lines. You can stretch it out so it's all much, much clearer and easier to see. And to top it all off, these will remember the state you put it in. So if I close these up, next time I start up the game, they will be closed. The only ones that will be open are the ones I left open. And to top that off, they, then you can also rearrange these. Unlike in the default contract little screen here, if I want Ur Orbit Kerbin to be the second one, I just click that arrow and it goes down. If I want to bring up set altitude record of 22,000 meters to be at the top, I just gotta walk it all the way up to the top there, and bam, we have it at the top now. I can click it open and it will stay that way. Oh my god, what'd I just do? I went into the Kerbal sp <laughs> I opened up the VAB, look at that. That's fun. But hey, look at that, we're in the VAB and we have the same contract manager here, and it remembers its state that you left it in order-wise, but every scene in the game, whether it's the Kerbal Space Center we were just in, or the VAB we accidentally popped ourselves into, we can see and set the screen manager, or the contract manager rather, to whatever screen size we want. So if I want to in here in the VAB to have the contract manager this size, we can have it as that. And if we head back to the Kerbal Space Center, You'll notice that it is back where we put it here in the Kerbal Space Center. And if we go to the Space Plane Hangar, it will be in another different position that we can reset. So for every scene in the game, you can have it at a different place, at a different size. 
but between the scenes, it will remember that order because we did set that altitude record all the way up the top and that has kept with us between all of these scenes. It's very, very useful. I, I do quite like that. And at the moment, if you want to sort of edit what it does and doesn't remember, you can do it in config files. Now, eventually, the creator hopes to add in the uh, toolbar into this mod so that you can have it in your toolbar with whatever other mods you have available to you and be able to access the options through there. But at the moment, you are kind of stuck with messing with config files or just dealing with the defaults, which, hey, I am happy with. Now, another thing on a reason I like this is compared to this contract mod. Oh, my. I've never actually tried to expand this thing in here. Let's go back out. Actually, let's load up a craft. I think that'll be fun. There we go. We won't actually be able to do anything with this of completing any contract. Actually, actually, we can complete a contract. Oh, my. I had forgotten. Let's pin up that one and pin up that one, and we're gonna make it a bit bigger. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Now we can actually set this one. That will be able to be completed. Now, right at this moment, if we had this contract, which let's just zoom out a bit and launch. Notice that, oh my God, first off, notice that I forgot to move my parachute. Wow, that was stupid. Notice that on the default contracts, it explodes and kills me. <laughs> on the default contracts, that that contract that we had stays there where it was in place, continuing to clutter up your contract manager or your contract menu. But on the contract manager, it's gone. Now eventually they want to to change it to so that it goes to the bottom. But I actually kind of like it at how it is at the moment where it just goes away because I don't I don't want to see that solid fuel booster landed at Kerbin again. I don't want it cluttering up my contract manager. I like the, the fact that it goes away. And that is another part of this mod that I really, really enjoy because it makes it so you just have less clutter, less to look through. And oh, yes, flight results. We. We killed them all. <laughs> oh, back to the vehicle assembly building. And yeah, I really like that fact that it will make those different contracts disappear. You don't have to worry about them again. They're not cluttering up your contract manager over here. It's just gone. And some other bits that they're hoping to add into the future is maybe moving irrelevant contracts to the bottom of the list, as I mentioned overriding the stock contracts menu so perhaps this would go away completely and make this one you know be your default the ability to add sticky contracts so even if you have completed it if you mark it as sticky it will stay where you left it and just other various things like that even you know, permission settings if you like because right now like i said this contract manager stays persistent between scenes but they're hoping that uh, they can make it mission specific so you can have a different contract manager for each mission you have being sent out into the cosmos and all those things sound wonderful and at the moment this contract manager alone makes me happy it's it's just so much more convenient and more useful than this default one instead of having to constantly scroll around through a bunch of crap i don't care about and having contracts that I've already finished staying and cluttering up things even more I actually have control with this contract manager and as it develops further in the future you'll have even more control with like those stickies and permission settings all that stuff it's just a much better contract system I, I like it I enjoy it and it makes life easier. So if you would like to give this mod a go, just check out the link in the description and you can download it for yourself. If you love contract career mode, this, I think, in my opinion, is a necessity. Go check it out and hopefully you have enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next with whatever strange mod I'll look at next. But until then, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.